Yeshua. When you realize every word that comes out of your mouth is actually recorded by Yahweh, you will be more careful about the things you say. You can't erase or take back something you said and the meanness of it is branded in Yahweh's memory forever. Don't let your temporary feelings narrate the outcome of your story. Only words have the power to gaslight. Demons know this better than man. They often invite those with low discernment to play in their demonic playground because they can be easily taken from Yahweh. There is no such thing as the Star of David. That image was originally the sign of Moloch. A hexagram star which is of Canaanite, Cain, origin, which is used in the occult as a worship symbol of Moloch. This same symbol now is the modern-day Orthodox Judaism flag of Israel. Internalize that, in order to understand and not be fearful of what is to come. There is no mention of the Star of David in the New Testament, the Torah, or the Talmud. Saturn is the planet that Edomite Judeans, descendants of the tribe of Esau, who mated with descendants of Cain, associated with their god. Satan. The modern-day Israelites claim to be descendants of Yahshua and Yahweh is a false narrative. Don't be influenced or gaslighted by these people. They speak not the truth. Bending to their temptation of attraction is dangerous to your soul. Karma is punishment when you least expect it. It is a justification for a wrong and a realignment in the universe when it is unbalanced. Man must evolve beyond the evil that demons and foolish entities try to install. This is the only obvious direction for the survival of humanity. The term, stop resisting, regardless of how the demonics say it, if it's not relating to Yahweh and staying on the path, is demonic sin. It always comes as a justification before a casual killing or demonic gaslighting. People who try to suppress the truth about Yahweh's people, do so because that truth implicates the oppressors directly. Politicians, clergy, scientists, lawyers, and doctors try diagnosing people instead of fixing the toxic environment the state of the world is in. The ignorance and hate that prevails all over the United States and the rest of the world have some claiming it's hard to believe racism still exists. These are the ignorant privileged ones, who feel they will never feel the effects of racism that they knowing or unknowingly participate in. This denial is part of a big problem. Um, I would just like to say that I am terrified that even you, someone who's obviously educated, has given up hope completely. Like, when, when you call upon us, you say white folk, you say black people, Jewish people. Why can't we come together? We obviously can come together. We just have to, we just have to find a way to do it. The desire is good, but the reality is the total opposite of your desire. And unfortunately, as a young lady, you are not in the position of power to make the decisions to make America work. There is no statue of limitations on murder. None of the descendants of Cain have been prosecuted for any deaths related to minorities being lynched, shot, burned, raped, dragged, drowned, mauled by dogs or beaten. No apologies, no closure or no location for where remains could be found. There are plenty of pictures of gatherings where these things took place, yet no justice will ever be forthcoming, at least, not by humanity. You won't be given a pass by Yahweh claiming you didn't know about racism. The fact of the matter is, you all know. Silence is complicity. You must not remain silent. Understand this fact, in the next, 25, years or less, Caucasians in America will no longer be the majority. Brace yourself for the ugly things to come from these descendants of Cain, because they know their game is up and they will fight to the death to maintain their edge. But it is not to be. Their day is almost here. Those that lead into captivity, 
will be brought into captivity. Yahweh means it. The aggregation of diverse ethnic groups of color will create a new majority, cultures may vary. But the underserved and historically marginalized children of Yahweh will have their rightful place restored at the head of the table. Spiritual warning, to all melanated non-African people, do not do to his people what the descendants of Cain did, or your inclusion in the protected circle will be short. Yahweh is watching and does not like what he's seeking in you, atone and repent for all of your trespasses against the will of Yahweh and his people. And isn't it sad that we who have been the victims of so much violence, now whites fear violence from us, we do not have a history of killing white people. White people have a history of killing us. See, and what, and what you fear, may I say this, sir, what you fear, and it's a deep guilt thing, that white folks suffer, you are afraid that if we ever come to power, we will do to you and your fathers what you and your people have done to us. And I think you are judging us by the state of your own mind, and that is not Yahweh gave you discernment to figure out things. The descendants of Cain were and will always be unloyal and emotionally unavailable. They were like that even to Yahweh, so just imagine how they are with you. They will turn on you and give you evil for evil, and even worse, give you evil for your good. They love no one and feel no connection to any fellow being. When you meet people of this nature, do not get involved because they are part of the demonic and will be your downfall. Don't end up in hell with them trying to save an entity that you cannot help because they don't believe in the Most High. This is the definition and culture of modern-day Israelites. Who continue to lie and gaslight the world, because they like others, don't realize that their lives do not improve because of the abundance of their possessions. Nor does it increase their chances to make it into heaven. Woe to you who are rich, you have received your reward and it's not a good one. The older you get, the wiser you are supposed to become. The older you get the more observant you are supposed to become. Be careful about the things you observe, it can be compromised by the demonic. Yahweh humbles you as you age. He helps you realize how much foolishness you wasted time on, instead of being at peace. You learn to stop being around toxic people, and being toxic yourself, something modern-day Judeans never learned. They hold on to the very thing that was designed to destroy them, even though the truth is out there, they refuse to repent. Yahweh is a God of no compromising principles. Those who belong to Yahweh have rejected the demonic illicit passions, lies and desires, and have chosen his will over their temporary offers of financial illusions. The words demons speak is called end time music. That is what happens when evil spirits hear their music been played. They show up themselves in human form to cause more harm and cause you to cry. Yahweh and all of his angels are extending an olive branch and a chance to repent to all of mankind. They are trying to lead you out of sin and ignorance, the reward is great, because when you submit to Yahweh's dominion, one day you will cry not because someone hurt you, but because he has answered your prayers. Seek Yahweh.